some compound inequalities. I'm going to do number 15 and 16 to start with here, then I'll do a couple toughies with you, or tougher ones. These are, these are tough. We're working through these folks. You're doing great. So first step, make sure there's nothing outside the absolute value sign outside of it on that side of the Pac-Man or the inequality. So there's not, so we can do our split now. So we drop the inequality symbols and copy the inequality down as it is. And then on the other side, we do the same thing, except for once we get to the inequality, we do the opposite. So it'll be less than now, and it will be negative 10. Now we solve for x. We subtract 5, subtract 5. We get negative 5x is greater than 5. And now we divide by negative 5. Oh boy, we have an inequality and we're dividing by a negative. So we need to flip the direction of the inequality here. So there is one solution. In fact, we have a number line. I could go ahead and just uh, do that right now. X Open dot, x is less than negative 1, so we're going that way. Over here, subtract 5 to undo adding 5. Divide by negative 5. Ooh, divide by negative. We get x is greater than 3. We want our distance to be greater than some number. So this will make an or statement. We either need to be north of here and go farther or south of here and go farther. Or east and west if you want to look at it that way. Uh, now we want, in number 16, we want our distance to be less than something. We don't want to go too far away from home. So we're going to do the solving process. There's nothing outside the absolute value symbol. So we can go ahead and split. Negative 2b minus 4 is less than or equal to 22. Copy it again. Negative 2b minus 4 is greater than or equal to negative 22. On the split, we need to make the inequality symbol and the distance or that constant number off to the right opposite. So now solve, add 4. Divide by, we're dividing by negative again here, folks. So again, we need to flip the inequality symbol. So b is less than or equal to negative 13. Oop, I said flip it, but I didn't, did I? And part of that, folks, is I was, uh, why, why I caught that, I said flip it, I didn't do it. And then I was starting to visualize what the graph is going to look like, and I knew that I need to stay close to home here. My distance needs to be going towards zero or making like a, um, a sandwich. So anyway, b is greater than or equal to negative 13. So that's going to be there. And then numbers that are greater go this way. I'm not going to keep squiggling though because I should have a number coming back at me that I need to stay between. So let's add 4, add 4. We get negative 2b is greater than or equal to Notice that your math in here should be different because over here we have a positive 22 that we're adding 4 to. And right here we have a negative 22 that we're adding 4 to. So you should get negative 18. Now divide by negative 2. Oh boy, we're dividing by a negative, folks. Let's flip the symbol. Let's actually do it this time. There we go. All right, so B has to be less than 9 or less than or equal to 9. So close dot. Let's try a couple toughies. Last ones here. So before we can split, we got to subtract this one. So now we're working with a 42. Now that our absolute value symbols is are isolated, we can uh, we can split it. So drop the symbols and just copy it down. And then over here, copy it down, dropping the symbols, but make the opposite symbol and make the opposite number. 
Now we would, what's being done to r, it's being multiplied by 7 and added to by negative 7. So we need to undo addition first. You know what, I'm going to do that over here because when you ask yourself the same questions, the, un, the answers are going to be the same and the undoing process is going to be the same. But the result on the right will be different. So here we get 49. Here we get 7b is less than negative 35. Now divide by 7, boom, I'm dividing by a positive now, so we don't need to flip the direction of the inequality. B is less than negative 5. So here I'm thinking my distance, whoa, distance is greater than some number. So my distance from home needs to be greater than something. I need to go far away and keep going. So R is greater than 7. Open dot at 7, and it needs to be greater than that. B is less than negative 5. Open dot, and it has to go to the left. This makes an OR statement. Uh, all right, number 22. Folks, one thing to notice is that this dividing by 7 is outside of the absolute value symbol. We need to undo that dividing by seven immediately. We cannot split yet. We have to undo that first. Here's what it would look like if it was in the absolute value symbol. They would make the fraction bar inside the symbol and they would make the absolute value signs cover the seven or go down to the seven. So we need to undo that dividing by seven first. So this left side is getting divided by 7. The entire left side is getting divided by 7. So I'm just going to multiply the left side by 7. And what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So this whole big mess in here is getting divided by 7, but now it's getting times by 7. So that undoes itself. Now my distance is less than some number. So it's like I want to stay close. I can't, I can't get too far away from home. Oops, distance is less than some number. So I'm, it's going to make a sandwich. I got to stay close. So now we do our split. We get 5 minus 8n is less than 28. And 5 minus 8n is greater than negative 28. If it helps, add the opposite here. 5 plus negative 8n. 5 plus negative 8n. What's being done to n? It's being multiplied by negative 8. And n is getting added to by 5. So we're going to subtract 5. I do that to both inequalities since it's true. Hmm, really gonna need a fraction on here? I guess so. Yeah. So then we get negative eight n is greater than negative thirty-three. Now we are going to flip the symbol when we divide by this negative 8 here. So we get n is greater than negative 23 eighths. Put the negative up on top. And we get n is less than